this video, we're going to go through the step-by-step -step instructions of outfitting a Winona rendezvous with full whitewater riggings, including a thigh strap system, tie-down straps, and flotation bags. Please note that there are variations to this process and everybody may do it a little differently. The actual work time to outfit a boat is less than two hours, but dry time extends the process over a couple days. To start, you'll need to purchase a whitewater outfitting kit from either your local specialty paddle sports store or by calling the Winona Canoe Accessories Department. They can help you select the correct size for your boat. We'll start with the adjustable thigh strap system. First, measure out and find the center of the boat and mark it with tape. Get in the boat and get the knee pads positioned comfortably. Measure out their location to make sure they're evenly spaced in the bottom of the boat. Trace around all the edges of the knee pads and thigh strap anchors with an erasable marker or lightly with a pencil. Using a heavy grit sandpaper, thoroughly rough up the back sides of the thigh strap anchors. Try not to over sand the back of the stitching. Thoroughly sand the traced out areas on the bottom of the boat. Wipe down and clean out any grit left behind. Quickly flash the sanded area of the boat with a heat gun or blow dryer. In this boat, we used a G-Flex epoxy mixture as the bonding adhesive for all the pieces. G-Flex can be purchased at most hardware stores. You can also use the Vinabond that comes standard with your outfitting kit. If you decide to use the Vinabond, make sure to follow the instructions closely, especially the amount and dry time needed, as to not damage the Royal X. Apply the bonding agent to the back of the first thigh strap anchor, and then apply the bond to the bottom of the canoe. Carefully lay the thigh strap anchor in place. Wipe away any excess bond, and tape all the way around the edges of the anchor. Place a heavy object like a sandbag on the anchor and let this all set for two to three hours. Remove the tape and make sure the thigh strap anchor set securely. Next we'll get ready to place the foam knee pad down. Thoroughly sand the area in the boat and quickly flash. Then sand the back of the knee pad. Apply the bond to the bottom of the canoe and then to the back of the knee pad. The foam blocks take less bond to secure, so wipe off any excess amounts. Place and press the knee pad firmly in place, and then place a sandbag on the knee pad to let it set. Let it dry for two to three hours. Repeat all these steps for the other thigh strap anchor and knee pad. Hook up the thigh straps and find a comfortable position to place the side anchor. The strap should fit snug over the middle and upper part of your thigh. Measure it out to make sure you place them in an equal position on both sides of the boat. You'll repeat the steps used to place the bottom anchors to place the side anchors. Outline the position, sand the back of the anchor, and the boat. Quickly flash the area and apply bond to both parts. Then you'll be ready to place the anchor firmly in place. Finish by removing any excess bond, tape the sides, and place a weight. Once again, let the bond set for three to four hours to make sure you get a proper connection. Repeat the whole process for the other side anchor, and then you should have a complete thigh strap system. To put the airbag tie downs in, start by partially inflating the airbags in the boat. Mark where you need to place the bag anchor and secure it there using the steps previously mentioned. Do this for both the bow and stern flotation bag. Make markings on the gunnels to evenly space the D-rings. Drill a hole in each of the D-rings and in the bottom side of the gunnels. You are then ready to securely rivet all the D-rings to the gunnels.
One final D-ring can be placed under the end cap in both the bow and stern of the boat to be used as an anchor for the tie-down straps. The final step is to tie the flotation bag into the boat. You'll need to cut the tie-down rope in half and you can cure the ends with a flame. Loop the rope through the end of the flotation bag and then use a crisscross method to get it to the center floor anchor. Tie down both ends using a slip knot that you can quickly adjust the tension on the rope with. Finally, secure the bag with a strap provided. Once you fully inflate the bags, you'll have a true whitewater salt canoe ready to take on any of your favorite raging rivers. <laughs>